Hi Chorus, I'm Kim, the IT Training and Development Specialist. This short video is to prepare you for a few changes that are being made to your computer or laptop soon with the installation of Microsoft Office 2007 and an internal messaging program called Office Communicator. Office 2007, the latest version, is being deployed across Chorus in order to take advantage of some great new features in the product. The Office package includes Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook, and the new version will also include significant visual changes to the interface in those applications. I will give you a quick overview here of what to expect in order to minimize any impact those changes will have on your work. Office Communicator is a robust messaging program similar to what you might know with MSN Messenger, except that it is internal to Chorus and so is linked to our company directory. I will discuss Messenger at the end of this video. So let's jump right into Office 2007 now and take a look at some of the changes. The most significant change to the interface in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint is the removal of the menu bar. In its place, there is now a series of tabs and a large bar that is called the ribbon. The ribbon can be scrolled by use of tabs along the top. When you click a tab, it slides the ribbon over to reveal a new set of action buttons. A lot of the features in previous versions of Office were hidden, buried deep in menus. In 2007, all the features have been opened up and placed right onto the various ribbons as action buttons. The initial challenge will be simply in familiarizing yourself with the new locations of your most used buttons and features. There are a few specific items to familiarize yourself with to ease the transition. One is the Office button, which now houses all the file menu options. My personal favorite button is also out in the open up here, the Undo button. Another is the use of the right click. Right click now has a much larger range of options for you. Also, many action buttons now have a small arrow beside them. This indicates a larger selection of available options related to that particular button. Simply click the arrow to find the specified option you are looking for. One interesting new feature is Live Preview. Live Preview is a neat feature that actually shows you what a formatting change will look like before you actually apply the change. Simply by hovering your mouse pointer over an action button, the text will preview that change for you. Clicking the button applies the change. In Excel now, you will notice the interface is the same as Word with the new Ribbon Tab interface. The challenge will be in adapting to the use of the ribbon. As with Word, take advantage of the increased functionality of the right-click menu. The improvements to Excel relate mostly to the presentation of data. For example, a table can be conditionally formatted to change the color of cells depending on the value, or apply a gradient to the cell based on those values. Here in PowerPoint again, we see the same visual makeover of Word and Excel. The one item of importance to point out here is the removal of the animation bar previously found along the right hand side. This has now been added to the ribbon and is located under the animation tab. PowerPoint has a few improvements, mostly related to visual effects and some multimedia upgrades of interest, such as support for MP3 files. Outlook is the exception. There is no ribbon and Outlook options are still found in the old menu system. There is some visual improvements in Outlook, but you shouldn't have much trouble moving from your previous version to this new one. However, because Outlook uses Word for message editing, whenever you reply or start to type a new message, you will be presented with the ribbon interface again. That being said, there are new features in Outlook that can provide immediate value to you. One is the support for multiple calendars, allowing you to open and view several at once if you choose. It's important that we make mention of the file version changes in Office 2007. By default, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint will save files in a new file format. Files saved in the default format cannot be opened in older versions of Office. In order to save files that you expect will be opened by users of an older version of Office, you need to specify that you wish to save in the older version. While IT is deploying the new version of Office across the company during April and May, this may be an option you need to consider as not all users will have the latest version. In order to do this, bring up the Save dialog. In the Save as Type box, change the option to the previous version before saving. You may receive a warning about losing functionality, but unless you have utilized some new feature specific to the new version, it shouldn't affect your document. 
To differentiate between older and newer versions, there will be an X at the end of your file names to denote the newer versions. But on the subject of file versions, this is probably a good time to mention that files can now be saved in .pdf format. The other program being installed on your computer is Office Communicator, another Microsoft product. Communicator is launched from your taskbar and will be turned on by default. Communicator is a messaging program similar to what you might recognize with MSN Messenger, except that this is an internal program linked to our company directory. The program provides a great many features including messaging, file sharing, video conferencing, voice communication, as well as some Outlook integrated features such as the Presence feature. To get started with Communicator, simply type in the name of one of your coworkers and add them to your list. Your status is set through the status button at the top though it will also automatically change based on items in your Outlook calendar or by inactivity on your computer. For interaction options, simply right-click a contact's name. These applications are being deployed across the Chorus network on a staggered schedule throughout April and May. Your particular site will be alerted to this deployment before it happens. If you have any concern about the upgrade to Office 2007 and the addition of Office Communicator, please don't hesitate to contact the service desk. All of the applications within the Office suite have been improved in a variety of ways. For more information and training on Office 2007, including digital signatures and other new features, Chorus IT has prepared a series of training materials online, as well as some select in-class sessions for employees in the Toronto area. We also offer a service called PC Helps for office support, which can be accessed by calling the service desk and selecting option 3. For more information, please contact myself, Kim Ellis, at kim at